It's a world away from the war in neighbouring Ukraine. After everything these refugees have been through, Moldova feels safe. It was so tense in Odessa, now it's even worse. Our town's being heavily bombed and the number of casualties is going up. We're just trying to get used to living here now. My seven-year-old daughter's traumatised. At least we can sleep now and not be afraid. But there are fears the war is widening and that Russia has its sights set on this former Soviet Republic. This week, a string of mysterious attacks and explosions destroyed infrastructure in Transnistria, a pro-Russian separatist region of Moldova. It claimed independence in the early 1990s following a brief war with Moldovan troops, but it isn't recognised internationally. It has its own government, currency and leadership and makes no secret of wanting to join Russia. Western intelligence chiefs, along with Ukrainian and Moldovan officials, believe Russia staged the attacks to justify mobilising around 1,500 or so Russian troops permanently based in Transnistria, along with several thousand Transnistrian conscripts. It follows recent comments from a Russian commander saying that the Kremlin's latest strategy was to try and link Russian troops in the east and south of Ukraine with Russian forces in Transnistria. The comments have caused alarm in Moldova. It only has 6,500 under-equipped soldiers, making it vulnerable to a swift Russian invasion. And like Ukraine, Moldova isn't a member of the EU or NATO. The country's former defence chief, Brigadier General Vitaly Marinutsa, believes it's time to abandon neutrality enshrined in its constitution. You have to be on the right or on the left, especially when you are here in this part of the world. I am one of the promoters of joining NATO, NATO, of not being neutral, you know, and having uh, uh, allies uh, which are really strong military, economically, politically. Uh, and I think for us it's, it's the best. But I'm in a minority here in the country. There are also concerns the Kremlin could attempt to sow division between the country's Russian and Moldovan-speaking communities. And there's another lever Russia could pull energy supplies. We are absolutely dependent on Russian gas, 100%, and 70% of our electricity is generated using that gas. Most of it's produced in Transnistria. We are totally dependent on Russia. If supplies were to stop suddenly, our economy would collapse and the consequences would be extremely serious. For now, Ukrainian forces have repelled a Russian landing in the port city of Odessa, blocking access routes to Moldova from the Black Sea. Should the tide of war change, there are fears the conflict will rapidly spread beyond Ukraine. Neve Barker, Al Jazeera, Kisinau.